Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearlism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you live from the basement of my Seattle apartment. When I feel like it, yes, when I feel like it. I'm going to write a book called Living When I Feel Like It. Because that's the way life is supposed to be. Like, you know when, when you're a kid and they told you, you know, you just can't do everything when you feel like it. They were wrong. No. Yeah, they were wrong. At school and all those places like that where they told you that sort of thing. They were wrong. You can do things when you feel like it. I'm living proof of it because I'm doing it right now. Okay, we're going to get into NHL games. I usually do them last night, but I didn't feel like it. See? See how that works? Now I'm doing it in the morning here. Um, I've got actually a lot of things to do today. Taking Helen uh, to the one that stitches up your pearls of wisdom necklaces and bracelets and such and knits them all up for you. Uh, I'm take, that's when you subscribe, of course, which you're going to do right now. Right now. Okay, let's try it. Let's just press it. Just... See how that makes you feel? Makes you feel all, all fluffy inside. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm taking her out to get her permanent. And uh, Hernandez and Melissa, it's their uh, uh, 37th anniversary of Perlo Copter Driving for Perlo Wisdom Industries. So we're going to go do some golfing. Yeah, I'm going to take them out for a round of golf there at the uh, uh, par, par 3. So that'll be fun. So I got lots to do. Um, last night, um, I'll just go over it real quick. Um, when I found out Halak was in, I went to Boston huge on the over, and I'm glad I did because we nailed it. Uh, this is the reason why people go over to the the Patreon, the uh, BPAL Picks Patreon, because I, I give that kind of a service. When I found out DeLeo was in, I switched my bet to large pearls for the over in the Carolina-Chicago game and Carolina in rag. So we got that. Um, we hit a lot. We made. We were up money. We were down money on Monday. I had to go to the, oh yeah, I forgot about that. The house is spanking. But, uh, and I did, and it was, I feel much better. See, Perlo's house is spanking. It's the best there, I said it. That's the slogan. It's the best there, I said it. Uh, go there, uh, and actually right in the same building is uh, Poon's house of, Pilates and yoga, which I attend regularly. Uh, go there as well. Tell them Perlo sent you. I get free. Get stuff for free when you do that. So that's Poon's House of Yoga and Pilates. Uh, but let's get to it, shall we? Always good to get a good Pilates and spanking in every once in a while. Um, here we go. Let's look at the games from last night. We're up about... We did about five units last night, five, six units. Um, so, and we were down about that. We're about even for the week so far. Okay, Washington versus the Rangers. I tried to find a dog pick in here to tell you. I just can't find it. The Rangers are sitting people. Panarin is injured now. Um, I'll just, uh, in my live show, which I do from three to five Eastern, uh, I talked about, my the situation with uh wilson and the rangers you know the fighting the whole fight thing there that happened panarin jumped on his back and stuff like that you know what get yourself an enforcer and quit your whining like <laughs> shut up okay that what wilson wilson punched him when he was down not cool not the end of the world it's been going on in hockey for years he didn't hit him that hard he got up fine he's okay you hit him like your brother did when you were fighting when you were younger. Like, settle out, all right? Now, not settle out. Get an enforcer to beat the pulp out of him. That's it. Make him hurt. You know what? If you did that, he wouldn't do that. It's that simple. Anyways, after all of that, um, are the Rangers going to rally around each other as a team and possibly win this game? I don't think so. I don't. I think Washington wins this game. Uh, ML and over five and a half. Uh, 
We'll see. This is going to be an interesting game to watch, though. That's the one good thing about it. It made it a very interesting game to watch. Uh, Nashville versus Columbus. I don't like the total being five here. Uh, I never... Uh, who likes fives, right? But I'm going to go under five anyways. There's not much scoring on both of these guys, both of these teams. Um, Columbus just looks totally lost. Nashville's still fighting for... Sort of fighting for a playoff spot. Dallas is coming up behind them pretty, uh, but not quick. They're fading, but still, I th I think that they're going to win this game. They got a lot of heart in Nashville, um, and they don't have much heart in Columbus right now. Like I said, I tried to find a dog pick today. Um, I usually have a few, but it's hard. I don't see one today. I'm taking Nashville but on the money line, and... Um, I might even go and the under on it. I might even go and rag on that. I don't know. Columbus has a way of being annoying and holding on for a tie. Uh, Dallas versus Tampa Bay. Uh, I was thinking Dallas here until I saw how much they've been playing. Tampa Bay's had a few days rest. They should be putting Vasilevsky in net. Um, and Ottinger should be playing. That's why I was going to take Dallas. But I, for 165, I don't mind Tampa Bay here. I'm going to take Tampa Bay money line. Um, they're playing a lot better lately. That's really it. That's why. Um, and I'm going to go under five and a half. I just think, with, especially Dallas, quit thinking that Hudobin is your goaltender now. It's not. It's Ottinger. All right? I'm going over there. Don't make me go there. Ottinger. Um, Ottawa versus Montreal. Um, again, I was looking at Ottawa here, but Shabbat got hurt last night. A Shabbatless Ottawa team is, uh, not much defense left there in Ottawa. Um, so, and Montreal is playing probably the best hockey that they played all year, which is good because they're going into playoffs right now. So I got to take Montreal. I can't see myself not taking Montreal. Um, they got the Gustafson kid has been playing well. Yeah, Montreal ML and under five and a half. Um, last time I took Minnesota here. I don't think Minnesota is going to beat Vegas two games in a row. And the last game that they played, they just barely came back and won that game. Uh I got. I think the play again on a lot of these. I'm gonna go with the over rather than the side, uh, or the total. I mean, um, more than the side. I'll use the sides as my buffer or hedge to, like for instance, here's a good example. Actually, um, yeah, here's a good example. Uh, Minnesota Vegas over. All right. Um, it's not a good example, actually. I'm going to take Vegas for like one pearl. And I'm going to take the over probably for large pearls. Because it's just a highly, highly likely that it'll be the over. But if, and then if, if I lose on the, on Vegas, then I'm not losing much on the side. But I'm really confident about the over here. They just have too much firepower in both of those. I think last game was 6-5. Uh, Minnesota is over a lot, a lot, a lot. So Minnesota Vegas. Uh, now the one thing you might kind of concern me a little bit is sometimes with teams, when they have a situation where they score a lot of goals like that, they focus heavily on defense the next game. I don't think that's very wise with Minnesota. Their best bet is to get Vegas to, uh, to go on a score, uh, to do what they did last game. Uh, take some chances and try to score because that's the way their team is made up. Uh, St. Louis versus Anaheim. I Again, um, this could be a little bit of a letdown game. I had Anaheim puck line the last time they played and St. Louis ended up winning 3-1. Um, I'm going to go back to a score similar to that. Um, I'm going to take St. Louis and Reg. I'll bump it up a little bit and under 5.5. Okay, this, I um, the, I was going to take Winnipeg, which would have been a dog pick here, but they just traveled across Canada for this game. 
and uh, they went from Ottawa all the way to Calgary. I, I, and Calgary kind of is a dog here. So it kind of would be my dog pick, I suppose. I think Calgary pulls it out. Um, and it's just poor Winnipeg can't find a spot for themselves right now. Lose seven or eight in a row. But really tough to win when you're just finished traveling all the way across the country. So I'm taking Calgary ML. And I believe it's under six. Six, yeah. Don't get it anywhere else here. Um, okay, and last game, Arizona, Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles won the last one. This is a coin flip. I'm not huge on this game any way you'd put it, to tell you the honest truth. Um, really want to see what goaltending is. Um, as of right now, I don't think Arizona is going to lose two in a row. I'm going to go with Arizona. Uh, you know what? It's a coin flip. Let's go with Los Angeles. That'll be my dog pick. It's a coin flip, so you might as well go with the dog. Um, puck line. Uh, yeah. It, that, but it depends. They, Los Angeles sometimes gets funky and throws quick in. If quick is in, I don't like Los Angeles here. Peterson again, who lost the last one, actually. Uh, no, who won the last one. Right. Uh, I'll take Los Angeles on the coin flip. And as far as the total is concerned, with Quick and Peterson, it should be under. But these teams are voodoo. I don't know what, which. I seriously have a difficult time figuring out which one is going to be with these teams. Arizona outworks their opposition, gets in the right spots. And they find ways to score, even though their lineup doesn't support scoring sometimes, uh, often. And Los Angeles, too, uh, when they play the system right, they can score. When they don't, they can't. So I'm going to say under five and a half. I'll say under, because uh, because especially if Peterson and Quick is going to be in, um, that's pretty much the reason why I'm going under on that game. Okay, boys and girls, I get into I can't get into yesterday's picks. Like I said, I got all that. I got to go golfing with Hernandez and Melissa, and I got to take uh, um, I got to take Helen out for her permanent. So have a great day. Take care. Okay, bye.